Namaste everyone and today I wanted to just reach out and talk to you um, about anything really just so that we can keep in touch because I've been busy traveling my life has been crazy and I have the time right now to sit down and just kind of reconnect with you in a sit down video and uh, I posted uh, an article on my uh, fan page uh, about interval training and how effective it is. In one minute you can achieve the of all out exercise, you can achieve the benefits of a 45 minute run. And that's why, that is why many years ago I started interval yoga because I like to be able to offer everybody something very intense and uh, fulfilling physically and fulfilling spiritually and also healing emotionally some practice that is very healing to the body on many levels and also that is very effective and physical and just practical for busy moms or for people that are trying to stay slim or to, uh, to stay in shape and so forth and uh, as I posted it someone uh, posted something really touching uh, a comment and I will read it to you and then we'll talk about it we are going to talk about anorexia which you will guess from the title of this video I'm sure um, and uh, she uh, posted this um, I'll, um, I will take this opportunity to be honest and open uh, nobody know that I feel like that nobody knows that I feel like that struggling with anorexia and um, getting better is not enough before going back to uni I used to work out in the morning and in the afternoons like cardio running and weightlifting now I have cut the excessive uh, exercise to weightlifting heat workouts and cardio on the weekend I love yoga and the peace it gives me but I'm afraid to give up days of weight uh, weightlifting to yoga and gain weight it sounds stupid and trying and uh, and trying will help me but brain is blocked I'm working on so many things I don't know I just think that it was time for me to share that it is silly to know that you're not fat I, uh, I use a size 34 or a size 2 US but still being unable to give in still working on myself one day at a time uh, that is a great and an honest way to look at yourself at oneself and just just start a journey of healing by first being honest even if you feel that you're getting nowhere with just being honest because you're still having the same behavior uh, no you're getting on the right track now um, I'm no expert on anorexia and this is not some form of an expert opinion this is just heart to heart talk and just me offering my support and saying hey I'm here uh, to offer you tools uh, to offer uh, love even from distance uh, but just to know that you're not alone and we are here in this together we're all women or even men su suffer and struggle with anorexia and we are all going through life and its challenges in a similar human way even if uh, for me it's not anorexia I still have my own uh, struggles in life which is my blessing because it makes me compassionate towards your struggles in life so that's one way to understand um, suffering is just to understand that sometimes it breaks you down enough so that you become a more compassionate person or you learn something along the way usually when we struggle with something what we're struggling with is our own resistance because <clears throat> you always have to remember you're okay and you will be okay no matter what happens you are okay you're doing fine and you'll be okay because at the end of the day that might sound very um, dreadful to someone some of you but at the end of the day we will all die and it will all be fine no matter what happened and what uh, we went through and like at the end of the day 50 years from now let alone 100 years from now when we're all gone it will be all fine and your soul will be fine so that's one thing to always remember you're fine and your soul is fine and you're growing even at a slower rate sometimes you take a dip but overall you're growing and you have to first take the step of recognizing what it is and sometimes yeah the brain is blocked because the brain has its own mechanism of working and sometimes it's a self-sabotaging mechanism it, I've done it plenty I know what self-sabotage is so and it's still okay you're still fine because even self-sabotaging is part of the process of learning 
and um, as far as uh, gaining weight, of course you're going to be in good shape doing less because even for me, I love to be physical and I used to work out a lot and go to the gym a lot and do a lot of yoga and I, I was not thinner back then. Uh, on the contrary, when I switched to less workouts and very short ones, my appetite was less and it just so balanced itself out and we all have vanity, uh, we're all vain beings and it's nothing wrong with that don't feel bad about noticing how you look noticing your physical body because your physical body is hosting your divine body and they're both divine actually so your physical body is hosting your um, spiritual body and they're both part of the divine you are a divine being physically and spiritually and emotionally and so forth and understanding uh, or having some form of vanity is nothing to be shy about. We all notice how we look and it's good to kind of take care of yourself and just take care of your makeup or buy nice clothes. Nothing wrong with that. As long as there is not like super crazy imbalance in that and you're just like only obsessing about that. But just having a nice balance about, okay, you want to look cute beautiful whatever it's fine you're fine nothing is wrong with you if you're vain and um, um, I just wanted to say that yeah it takes a while but when I switched to less uh, to the type of workouts that I'm offering the type of yoga classes uh, I feel that I got in better shape and overall less wear and tear on my joints and everything the muscle and the leanness was about the same maybe my body became a little less muscular and more um, slim maybe in a way because no bulk added from the waist but overall it's about the same and I feel I'm offering the healthiest thing I can offer to you so that's why I'm I feel very blessed to be offering my classes because I also am offering what I would love to take most which is classes tools for improvement at home uh, oftentimes um, by uh, when you're alone and you're having uh, the luxury of self-reflection and growth through self-reflection. Um, so I think uh, I touched upon a few things. Uh, I'm sure I'm forgetting a bunch of things I wanted to say, but that's usually how it goes. Um, if you have any moral support, anything to add to this, you can post it in the comments below. And uh, I always feel like I should address anorexia every so often because a lot of my followers are young girls and anorexia is very, very prevalent right now. And a lot of you are telling me, writing to me or posting that you're suffering with anorexia. And... Uh, of course, there is many ways to heal and many ways to overcome mental um, blockage. Uh, but one is to just first recognize it and start working towards consciously reducing things, understanding that you'll be okay, that you will not blow up and be, it, it, you, will, you will be fine. If you relax with your life, you will find things that are very enjoyable. You will find things that uh, that will take your focus away from food and your body image uh, when you find things that you're passionate about things that you're talented at good at you can serve with and you can be of uh, con you can contribute to society through when you find your surface your service your purpose and your laughs laughs for things that you're good at like painting and knitting and cooking and all those things um it will it will rebalance you when you uh, so it is just a part of your journey uh, even anorexia even anorexia i'm sure it's a part of your journey and it will be a great lesson when it's all done i know sometimes it's very life-threatening because the brain can completely uh, get stuck in a pattern but um, for most of you especially that are switching to a yoga from heavy lifting it is good because yeah if you can have an unhealthy behavior and do yoga but overall it's a good shift and you need to move and you need to eat 
So those things, you have to find a way to balance them out because ultimately you do need to exercise and you need to eat. And you have to figure a way of stopping yourself from over-exercising and abusing yourself, finding a way to love yourself and trusting, trusting the future. Yoga is a form of... Um, Anorexia is a form of anxiety and not trusting the future, not trusting that you'll be okay. So trying to keep things in control, to take control of things that you don't have control over. And I think the lesson for all of us, I'm intending to do meditations just on that because it will help all of us, is learning to trust your life path, the future, learning to trust the process of living, that you're fine on earth, that you will be taken care of in an unforeseen ways, that things are not going to just spin out of control and you'll be just in some bad situation on earth. And some of it is just understanding that we will die and that is a good thing because we have a guarantee of something on earth and that is it, that we are going to transcend this place one way or wherever you believe you're going to transcend, but you're going to transcend it. And that once we're there, which is gonna, time will go by like this, none of this will matter. None of this will matter. If you're 500 pounds or 100 pounds, or none of this will ultimately in a thousand years from now will matter, but it's good while you're here to take care of your um, temple and to take care of what's going on here because it, it will help you grow faster overall you're growing so I think the whole message of the whole thing of this video is you're fine to just tell you because to me especially when I was going through my 20s I did have anxiety and about my future and just general anxiety about life and living and all of that and the things that resonated the most with me is that I'm fine I'll be fine and everything will be fine. It will work out. You're on a good path and it will work out. You're on the right path and it will work out. And that always encouraged me. That always made me feel so much better about where I'm at in life. Even if I compared myself to my peers and I was taking a totally crazy route, obviously. Because I didn't stay in my home country and get a career uh, have kids and all of that, I chose a route that is very, un, a path that is um, a little more risky, but it was my heart path and I had to remind myself I'm fine and I'm doing the right thing and everything will work out and I'll be fine. And that is the message for all of us, we'll be okay. Just get through your, get through everything with Staying true to your heart, staying inspired and calm and confident that you are on the right path and ultimately every path will take you where you're going. There's no mistakes to be made. The only mistakes are when you are thinking you are on the wrong path. That is an illusion. There is no such thing. You're on the right path and everything is part of your learning experience. I think... <sighs> I think that was a mouthful, right? I talked very fast. And <laughs> if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Anything that you want us to just kind of chit chat about and talk. And I'll make videos whenever I can and whenever I have talk energy because that is a hard thing for me. I don't have talk energy all the time. Sometimes I want to be very silent and it, I have to have this energy, <laughs> the talk energy to make one of these videos. But anyways, I love staying in touch with you and I love hearing from you and I love you. Namaste.